It's not just a giant floating pile of trash. What's really inside the Pacific garbage patch will shock you. From microplastics to ghost fishing gear, this swirling mess is far more dangerous than it looks. In this video, we uncover what's truly hiding beneath the surface. Don't forget to like this video, hit subscribe, and stay informed about what's polluting our planet. 1. A toxic mix of microplastics. The majority of the garbage patch is made up of tiny plastic pieces called microplastics. These are fragments less than 5 millimeters, often broken down from larger plastic debris. Sunlight, waves, and salt water degrade plastic into smaller pieces, but they never disappear. These particles mix into the ocean surface like confetti, forming a poisonous synthetic soup. They're too small to clean easily and nearly impossible to see with the naked human eye. Yet they're consumed by marine life, mistaking them for plankton or other food particles. Some are made from broken bottles, food containers, bags, or even car tires and electronics. Two, abandoned fishing gear. Fishing nets, lines, ropes, and traps make up most of the total weight inside the garbage patch. These are known as ghost gear, left behind by commercial fisheries across the Pacific Basin. Tangles of synthetic ropes float beneath the surface, trapping animals long after being lost. They form massive mats, often the size of cars, drifting like mobile death traps in the sea. Nets catch turtles, seals, dolphins, and fish, suffocating or injuring them as they struggle. Many of these nets are made of durable plastics like nylon or polypropylene that never degrade. The patch holds hundreds of thousands of these fishing remnants from decades of ocean use. 3. Consumer Packaging Waste Bottles, wrappers, caps, straws, and containers float across the surface of the garbage patch. These items come from households, streets, and landfills washed into rivers and oceans. Food wrappers and bottle caps are among the most frequently found items during cleanups. They remain intact for years, and some labels are still readable even after decades in seawater. Toothbrushes, razi, razors, toys, and lighters from different countries have been found together. Brands from Asia, Europe, and North America have all been identified inside the patch. This shows the global nature of the problem pollution does not respect national boundaries. 4. Industrial Plastic Pellets Tiny plastic beads, called nurdles, are found in abundance inside the garbage patch zones. These pellets are raw materials used to create nearly all plastic goods around the world. They often spill during transportation, either from ships or coastal production facilities. Though small, they resemble fish eggs, making them particularly dangerous for sea animals. Fish, birds, and turtles consume them, mistaking them for natural food in the water. Nurdles absorb toxic pollutants, becoming carriers of harmful chemicals across the ocean. They are virtually impossible to clean due to their size and massive distribution scale. 5. Clothing Fibers and Microfibers Synthetic clothing fibers have been found in surprising amounts inside ocean gyres and patches. Polyester, nylon, acrylic, and spandex fibers shed from garments during washing and drying. These microfibers travel from washing machines to wastewater plants and into waterways. They are too small for most filters, so they end up in lakes, rivers, and eventually the ocean. Once there, they mix with microplastics and accumulate in marine animals and sediment. The patch contains billions of synthetic threads from shirts, leggings, and activewear. These fibers absorb oil, bacteria, and pollutants, carrying dangerous substances inside animals. 6. Plastic Bags and Films Thin plastic bags and packaging films form tangled sheets floating silently inside the patch. They are particularly dangerous because they can mimic jellyfish in shape and movement. Turtles and fish often swallow them, leading to suffocation, starvation, or digestive blockage. Because these plastics are so light, they float easily and travel across long distances quickly. Bags can wrap around coral, entangle animals, or gather into masses alongside other waste. They degrade into flimsy strips but never fully disappear, becoming microplastics over time. Some still carry store names and logos from places thousands of kilometers from the Pacific. 7. Electronics and Plastic Fragments Pieces of electronics, toys, appliances, and tools have been recovered from within the patch. Some come from storm-damaged coastal dumps, others from ship cargo lost in transit. Plastics from keyboards, remote controls, and handles often wash into the patch over time. 
Fragments from discarded printers, mobile cases, or chargers float far before breaking down. Once cracked or crushed, these items splinter into jagged shards harmful to marine life. Heavy polymers sink slowly, polluting multiple ocean levels before fully breaking apart. Some items release heavy metals, batteries, or brominated flame retardants as they decay. 8. Biodegradable plastics that do not biodegrade. Biodegradable plastics have been found floating in the garbage patch years after being dumped. Some brands label their plastics as eco-friendly, but they only degrade under lab conditions. In cold salt water with little oxygen, even green plastics can last decades without breaking down. These materials give consumers a false sense of security while still contributing to pollution. Inside the patch, bags marked compostable or oxo-degradable are still fully intact. Worse, they break into microplastics the same way traditional petroleum-based plastics do. They are found entangled with ghost gear and mingled with food packaging and bottle caps. 9. Plastic toys and household goods. Toys, combs, containers, shoes, and household items drift in the garbage patch like plastic fossils. Some are broken, others are nearly intact, complete with color, buttons, and recognizable logos. Decades-old items like Lego blocks, dolls, flip-flops, or toothbrushes have been recovered. These relics survive ocean conditions for decades with shockingly little wear and tear. Because they're made of durable polymers, they float longer and travel further than soft plastics. Many of these items fall from landfills, are swept by floods, or lost during shipping accidents. In the patch, they become reminders of consumption patterns repeated worldwide for generations. 10. Nature trapped in plastic. Among the trash, the patch contains dead fish, bird bones, seaweed, feathers, and shells. Plastic wraps around coral, crabs, and jellyfish, trapping them in synthetic loops of waste. Bones and beaks are found inside fishing nets, alongside bottle caps and wrappers. Some birds die with their stomachs packed full of plastic lighters and straws mistaken as food. Fishermen find turtles deformed by six-pack rings embedded in their shells for years. Coral pieces are covered with plastic films, suffocating and bleaching the living reef beneath. Nature collides with man-made waste in the patch forming gruesome hybrids of life and trash. This makes the patch not just a pollution zone, but a floating graveyard for marine biodiversity. Every piece of plastic has the potential to kill, and many already have, silently and invisibly. The patch's contents are more than objects, they are the remains of an ecosystem under siege. Now that you know what's lurking inside the Pacific garbage patch, the question is what can we do about it? Every item tells a story of consumption, neglect, and environmental damage. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more eye-opening content, and share this with someone who needs to see the truth. Change starts with awareness, and awareness starts with you.